Okay, friends. So the first thing we're going to do is separate our cards. You can see how Camila is separating her cards right now. She's making one pile of cards that are too small. The cards that are too small are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then she's making another pile of big numbers. The big numbers are seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna take my small numbers and put them in my box because I don't need them. Let's watch Camila. And then I'm gonna keep my big numbers because these are the ones we're gonna use today. See how Camila's putting all her small numbers together and putting them in her box and she's separating out her big numbers. The other thing we're gonna need today, first graders, is your dice. So you need your big number cards and your dice. Great, so when you're ready, Camila, put all the small numbers inside the card box so that we don't get distracted by them. I'm gonna put that on the side. Okay, Camila, are you ready to play? Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. One person is gonna pick a card from the deck and the other person is gonna roll the dice. Camila, do you wanna pick a card or roll the dice? Throw the dice. Okay, you throw the dice and I'm gonna pick a card. What got one. Did you get? Camila got one and I got 13. So I'm gonna show my whiteboard for a minute so I can show you how we're gonna write these numbers. So I got the number 13. That's our total, 13, because it's a big number. Camila got the number one. So I'm gonna write an equation that looks like this. One plus question mark equals 13. So we're gonna to try to figure out one plus how many equals 13. Now, Camila, there's lots of different ways that we could figure this out. We could figure wow. it out by counting on our fingers. We could figure it out by using our 10 frames. What do you think we should do to figure out our question? Mm. One plus, how, we could use a hundreds chart. Mm -hmm. What would you well, like we to do? We just put 12 on it. Well, 12 is the answer, but I want to figure out a good way to solve our problem. Let's try using a hundreds chart. Let's see how that works. Okay. So I know you knew the answer right away, but some kids might not know and we need to practice. So here's 13. 13. And Camila picked number one. So we're gonna count and see, oops. We're gonna count and see one plus how many equals 13. Camila, will you count with me? We're gonna go like this. One, two, two three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. So Camila was right. The answer is twelve. Watch how we're gonna write it. One plus how many? Hmm. I'm gonna erase that how many because Camila just told me the answer was twelve. Tw one plus 12 equals 13. So this is called finding the unknown number. Unknown means we don't know what it is. Okay, let's try it again and show the kids how it works again. So this time you pick a card and I'm gonna roll the dice. What do you got? I got four. What did you get? I got 11. Nice. Okay, Camila has 11. So now I'm going to share our screen. Let's clear that. So we got 11 was our big number. I already forgot what I got. Oh, I got a four. So four plus question mark equals, equals 11. 11. So another way we could figure this out is counting on. I'm gonna show you how we do this. I'm gonna put the four in my head. Four is in my head. 
And we're gonna use our fingers to count all the way up to 11. So four, count with me. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many did I count? 11. No, count, look at my fingers. How many fingers? 10. Five. <laughs> Here, let me show you better. I'm too small, right? How many fingers? Um, Twelve. No. Here, try this way. Count my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many fingers? Seven. Seven. Okay. So on our whiteboard, we're going to write seven. Four plus seven. Seven equals 11. All right, Camila, what questions do you think the kids might have about this game? What should we explain to them? Maybe they will question what is it? Yeah, what is this game about? This game is about figuring out the unknown number. It's like a mystery number game. What's the first thing that we did with our cards? Um, we first did is Remember we took them out? Mm -hmm. Which numbers did we take out? The big letters. The big numbers, everything that's seven or bigger. Okay, and then what do the two partners do? One partner picks a card and the other partner, what does the other partner do? Roll the dice. Rolls the dice, right? And then we write our equation with the big number at the end and the number from the dice at the beginning. Okay, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. What do you think, Camila? Yeah. Okay, tell the kids, have fun. Have fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop.